X8A and X16A devices are based on a 1T platform and have bidirectional switching capacities of 25.16 terabits per second and 50.32 terabits per second, respectively. Both devices support various board capacities and interfaces. The X8A is 930mm high and the X16A is 1778mm high. The X8A and X16A are both 442mm wide and 750mm deep. Both the X8A and X16A can be installed in the Huawei N68E cabinet or any other standard 19-inch cabinet with sufficient space. When fully configured with 1T boards, the X8A weighs about 210 kilograms and the X16A about 400 kilograms. When fully configured with 480G boards, the X8A weighs about 190 kilograms while the X16A weighs about 350 kilograms. When fully configured with 1T boards, the maximum power consumption of the X8A is 6,520 watts, and that of the X16A is 12,390 watts. When fully configured with 480G boards, the maximum power consumption of the X8A is 4,770 watts, and that of the X16A is 9,040 watts. Both the X8A and X16A use the front and rear maintenance design. Boards and power modules are at the front and power supply and fan modules at the rear. Take a look at the X8A. From top to bottom, there are air filters for the air intake frame, board area, cable tray, and power system. Open the cover plate and you can see PMs, PMUs, and power supply switches. On the X16A, the power system is at the top. If you open the cover plate, you can see PMs, PMUs, and power supply switches. Lower down, we can see there is an air filter for the air intake frame in the upper chassis, two MPU slots in the middle, and LPU slots on both sides. Here is the cable tray for the upper chassis. SFU slots reside in the middle, with their air intake vents on the left and air filters on the back. These are LPU slots in the lower chassis, cable tray, and air filter for the air intake frame at the bottom. Let's look at the rear. For the X8A, the two bottom layers are PEMs. These are ground terminals. The top three are fan module slots. For the X16A, the upper four layers are PEMs. There are six fan module slots with three in the upper chassis and three in the lower chassis. These are ground terminals, and this is the air filter slot for the air intake vent of the SFUs. Let's have a look at the boards of these two models. Different colors represent different boards. Dark blue for MPU or SRU, rose red for SFU, and warm gray for LPU. There are eight LPU slots on the X8A and 16 on the X16A. Compared with the boards in the upper chassis of the X8A and X16A, the boards in the lower chassis of the X16A must be inversely installed. The MPUs of these two models use a 2.0 GHz processor and 8G or 16G SD RAMs. The size of the SSD card that is used to store system software package and user data is 8G. Both the X8A and X16A are equipped with two MPUs working in one-to-one -one backup mode. The X8A supports the SRU-A8, which is compatible with the 400G chassis, and the SRU-A9, which is compatible with the 1T chassis. The X16A supports the MPU-B5. Both the X8A and X16A are equipped with four SFUs. Two of the SFUs on the X8A are integrated on the MPUs. Therefore, the MPUs on the X8A are called SRUs. The SFUs of both models work in 3 plus 1 backup mode. If one SFU fails, the other three SFUs automatically take over its services to prevent service interruptions. These two models support two types of SFUs, 480G and 1T.
Having the same power system architecture, the X8A and X16A can share power modules. The system uses a non-partitioned power supply and does not need to be fully configured with PMs and power supplies each time. You can install sufficient PMs and power supplies based on actual power consumption. The negative 40V DC and 220V 110V dual live wire AC are available for the two basic models of the X8A and X16A. Users can select one based on the power supply solution in the equipment room. The power system consists of PEMs and PMs. Power is supplied to PMs through PEMs. The PMs equalize the current and regulate the voltage before supplying power to the entire device. The system is configured with PMUs and power switches. When one or both switches are on, the device is powered on. When both switches are off, the device is powered off. To enhance power reliability, ensure that both switches are on when operating the device. The negative 48V DC power system of the X8A and X16A uses DC PMs in N plus 1 backup mode. PMs that back up each other obtain power from two different power sources so that one source can provide power if the other fails. The maximum output power of each PM is 2200 watts. The X8A supports a maximum of 7 plus 1 PMs with the maximum power consumption of 15,400 watts. The X16A supports a maximum of 15 plus 1 PMs with a maximum power consumption of 33,000 watts. The mappings between PMs and PEM wiring terminals are shown in this figure. The power system of the X8A and X16A uses AC PMs in N plus N backup mode. PMs that back up each other obtain power from two different power sources so that one source can provide power if the other fails. The maximum output power of each PM is 3000 watts. The X8A supports a maximum of 4 plus 4 PMs with a maximum power consumption of 12,000 watts. The X16A supports a maximum of 8 plus 8 PMs with a maximum power consumption of 24,000 watts. PEMs use the C20 power cable interfaces, which connect to power cables with C19 plugs. The AC power system supports 220V AC power and 110V dual live wire inputs, but not 110V AC single phase inputs. The mappings between PEMs and PEM wiring terminals are shown in this figure. Simply speaking, PMs correspond to PEM interfaces horizontally and vertically. The heat dissipation system of the X8A and X16A work by circulating air from front to back. The air intake vent of the X8A resides above the board area on the front chassis, and the air exhaust vent resides at the top on the rear chassis. The X16A has three air intake vents, with one at the top, one at the bottom, and one on the left side for SFUs to allow air to flow from left to right. The X8A has three fan module slots for heat dissipation, while the X16A has six. The rotating speed of fans automatically varies with ambient temperature. When ambient temperature is lower than 27 degrees Celsius, fans rotate at a low speed of 35%. When ambient temperature is higher than 27 degrees Celsius and lower than 40 degrees Celsius, fan rotating speeds are adjusted linearly. When ambient temperature is higher than 40 degrees Celsius, fans rotate at a high speed of 100%. On both the X8A and X16A, air intake vents are configured with air filters. On the X16A, the air filter for the air intake vent of the SFU area is at the rear. Air filters can be removed for cleaning. Cleaning once every three months is recommended. For detailed information about X8A and X16A hardware, visit support.huawei.com and navigate to the product models on the document bookshelves.